Okay. Hi. Um, so I just wanted to start off by showing the book that I read. This is The Day of the Pelican by Katherine Patterson. Um, so this book is about basically um Melly, who is the main character, was never prepared for something so terrible to happen in her life, which was the death of the entire Dashari family. Also, I'm really not sure if I'm like pronouncing everything right. There are some like language barriers. So just work with me on that. Um, so this book is also based out of Kasavo Dukachin. I'm really not sure if that's exactly correctly how you pronounce it. But basically all the Albanians in Kasavo are now at risk, including Melly and her entire family. The refugees, which are Melly and her family, must leave their homes and stores um, and were only allowed to take a few things with them. They travel through drastic measures to get to a safe haven, which is caught like the journey Melly feels as if it's caused by her and her best friend, Zana, because they misbehaved in class, which led her brother to leaving and this whole journey beginning. Um, so they were misbehaving in class basically because um, her their classmates, Melly and her best friend, um, viewed their family as not being proper citizens because their families grew up on farm, whereas the classrooms, the classmates' families grew up in the town and they just treated them as different and they just kind of acted out on that. Um, so once they finally get to the United States of America, they finally feel safe, everything's all good, then 9-11 happens, which leads them to be a part of the anti-Muslim problem, which was really hard for them to go through just because everyone was like, hey, you're a terrorist, you're a terrorist, terrorist so you need to get out of the United States. Um, so it was kind of the like moral of the story like that I got like the rationale of, that I got from this book was that no matter what your family's going through like the determination the lack of fear that this family had um to go through this whole journey shows that like a family can work through anything together and I find that super interesting um and I want to kind of just talk about three points that really stood out to me throughout the book that I feel like had a huge influence on the book as a whole so the first one was kind of like I talk, how I talked about in the summary, Melly and her best friend Zana, families were viewed as not being proper citizens because they grew up on a farm and everybody else grew up on in town and they were just viewed as completely different people. Like they weren't part of the society of Kasavo as a whole, just because they're just, their families did different things than everybody else. Um, the next thing that I thought was their reason for leaving, which Baba, which is what Melly calls her dad, which is Baba means father, was very hesitant to leave the country because he, he because he would have to leave the store that everyone depended on and his kids would have to leave school. Um, but obviously in the end of this whole entire book, he realized that it was the best decision just to make them feel safe. This again, I talked about in the summary, everything kind of took a turn because they arrived right when 9-11 began, which was not the best situation for them. Um, and then the last part would I that really stood out to me was how Melly's mom and dad were worried about how their brother Meh, Mehmet, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that one again, but was when Mehmet went missing because they thought the Serbian um, police captured and killed him because they thought he would be part of the Kasavo Liberation Army who tried to win Kasavo's independence from Serbia. So also not to mention the Siberian or yeah, Siberian police and like all those were trying to attack on Kasavo. Um, and it was just like a war between the two. So and that war was because Kasaba was trying to get their independence from, from Serbia. Um, so as I've done read this book, I've done like a lot of book reflections and creating lesson plans surrounding by a book. And with me becoming a future educator from this book, I really feel like getting the perspective, not even like the perspective, but the I don't even, we'll just work with perspective because I can't think of a word, but like how Melly had to go through all of these like 
bridges and all of that just to make sure the family was safe. It was a lot. Um, so like, I couldn't imagine moving into the U.S. for the first time and experience 9-11 and that was a terrorist attack. And then people stereotyping Melly and her family into, oh, you're a terrorist. You need to get out of the country. Like, I, as a teacher, like, I'm gonna be able to be, like, more calm, more patient with my students, not to mention how in the cultural identity worksheet, um, there was information in there, so, like, when we were doing the language and stuff, um, there is a very big language barrier between English and Arabic that would make it really frustrating for a student to try and learn English, um, and, also through the cultural worksheet, learning how certain things wouldn't, like the way we would handle, um, like let's just say discipline, because that was an example. Um, They they don't believe in like reprimanding your child, um, yelling at your child. Like they'd rather like say, you did this wrong, because this is the right thing to do. If you kind of understand what I mean by that, um, which it's like, I don't know how to like put it out into words without just saying like, being a teacher and will at the chance of me having EL students, I need to just be more relaxed with them and understand they're coming to a whole new country. They're trying to learn a whole new language. Even if their second language is English, their first language is Spanish at home. Um, I still need to be more willing to help them and like understand their backgrounds and what they have to go through. So I really feel like the culture identity worksheet would even be a benefit to me in my future when I do have EL students. Um, because then I can just honestly like look up everything about where they're from, what they're used to so that I can accommodate my classroom to them. So I definitely would be saving that just for future reference and stuff like that. Um, But yeah, thanks for listening.